Good morning, everyone. It's Erin from Erin Lee Creative. I wanted to shoot a quick video this morning to, I guess it's almost afternoon now, um, to show in person the look at our six new stencils that we released this morning at 8 a.m. Um, I really appreciate everyone's order so far. I'm glad y'all love stencils as much as I do. Um, I know sometimes it's kind of hard to see how stencils look you know, any product really online and pictures. So sometimes it's helpful to see them in a video. So I wanted to shoot this video. Hopefully I'll keep it nice and short so you can see what the stencils actually look like in real life. So today we released six stencils. I tried to get um, a wide variety for everyone in this mini release. I feel like I did a fairly decent job at making sure there's something for everyone in this little release. So. First, we have Rainbow Lines. This stencil is um, been in the works for quite a while. It's um, one of my favorites that's kind of been in process for um, a while. It's been kind of a project just trying to get the lines correct so that they um, work with ink blending and things like that. So um, it's pretty simple to see what it looks like. It's really great doing rainbow colors, but of course you could just do a very simple um, one color, you know, ink blending. Also, one of my design team members, Michelle, she did an amazing rainbow foil on this stencil. And if you haven't seen it, I suggest you go and check that out because it is one of the most gorgeous things I've ever seen in my life. Um, I think this also would be really pretty with um, an embossing paste, um, just like a clear or um, transparent paste over an ink blended background. Um, so here is the actual stencil out of the packaging. So it's a six by six stencil repeating pattern. So you can really probably actually line this up to do um, a slimline die as well, which would be really cool. Next up, we have the Pine Layering Stencil Set. Um, in this set, you get two stencils, okay? Um, so that's why the price is a little bit higher because you're actually getting two stencils. Um, our individual stencils retail for $6.99. So if you were to buy each stencil separately, it would be um, $14. So um, I have decrease the price for the set. So you're getting a discount. So on this one, you would ink blend the base. And then once you have the base of the stencil, you would layer this one directly on top for a secondary layer of snow or just extra pine needles. I suppose you would just use one or the other as well. Like this one would be cool just as a subtle um, tone on tone look would be really pretty if you had like a very strong bold uh, sentiment or something you want to highlight in front of it but this is essentially what this stencil looks like once you have it layered i did not have any kind of snow um, glaze or anything like that but i kind of tried to create a snow effect on that so really pretty for winter and Christmas and holiday cards. Next up we have the Aztec Diamonds and that is this stencil here. Um, it's definitely like an Aztec theme, very versatile. Um, I created a card with this using the deco foil. I love the duo gel. Um, I carry that in my shop now because I love it so much. And it's called deco foil transfer gel duo. And this is so amazing because you do not have to have a heat laminate or any kind of heat to process the foil on top of this. So this is the card I created last night using the duo gel and the Aztec diamond stencil. It is a game changer. Okay, so next up we have Into the Woods, and that is the stencil here. I'll show it in the packaging. So for this one, I had them create a um, A2 line so you can line it up horizontally or vertically on your card. 
this is a really great stencil just for creating a super easy scene. You could, <clears throat> you know, tape it off. I also now carry masking tape for stencils. Um, the tape that I'm carrying is really great tack. It is sticky enough to hold down stencils, yet it's removable enough, if that makes sense, to not rip your paper up. I've been using it a while now to test it out, and I absolutely love it. Um, so you could use this as, you know, you could mask off pieces to create different colors, or just do ink blending like I did in my sample card, like this. And really, you just need a very simple sentiment, and like you've created your card. So I really enjoy that. Next up, we have the camo camouflage layering stencil set. So much like the tie dye layering set, you're getting three stencils in this. Okay, so you're getting just like the tie dye set. It looks like one stencil in a package, but it's really thick. So you're getting three stencils. You're getting layer one, and I have a video posted on social on Instagram. Um, and I'll try to get that up on YouTube as well, um, showing how to use it. But you're getting layer one, and it says in the corners, layer one. So you'll ink that up first, remove layer one. Then you get layer two, ink that up, remove that, and it's listed layer two down here. I like to mark them with Sharpies so I can see them a little bit easier. And then layer three, you ink that up so you can get three layers of color. And when you're done, you get an amazing card base that looks like this. Um, I really want to try like a girly theme card with the stencil like pink and black because that's totally my jam. Okay, and last for the six stencils, we have burlap mesh. This one is a really small pattern. Um, I like doing small patterns too because I think they're great for like simple backgrounds, especially you if you have like a very bold stamp you're wanting to put on there or like a big flower. Um, I like a smaller pattern and I can't, oh, here's my sample. Um, so this is the card I created with this stencil. Um, I love doing the technique that Gina Kay did in one of her lives, um, probably like a few months ago now, but you ink blend the background and then you place the stencil over the background, over the ink blend the background, and ink over it with the black. And that's the effect you get. So I really like that. So that's the last of the six stencils. And um, I also have loaded up a bunch of other supplies in the shop to play with your new stencils. I have, like I said, I have the Decofoil Transfer Gel Duo. I have um, a Tim Holtz um a uh, product that you can it's like the translucent matte media which I haven't actually played with yet but I've heard amazing things about it so I'm looking forward to trying that today and I also have loaded um some a couple foils and some other items so um the last thing I wanted to show you real quick is this new um jumbo hexagon blender that I've loaded onto my site. It comes in this great little plastic container. So you can choose black or pink. Um, I don't have the pink here, but it's like a baby pink. So as you can see, it's fairly large and it's a hexagon shape. So it's really easy to grip and it's really great for ink blending just um, a larger piece. So those are loaded in the shop and I think that's all for today. I just wanted to show um, all of the awesome new stencils and I hope that you have a great weekend and grab some stencils in the shop and happy early world card making day. Talk to you later. Bye.